Last week we talked about why Sprite Kit's perfect for some game developers. This week, I want to talk about why it's actually pointless for most game developers. Let's dive in. Alright, so I have a few reasons. The obvious reason is because Sprite Kit is iOS only. You are essentially cutting off anyone who wants to play on Steam or Android. Last week I said, oh, that's fine. Don't develop for Android. Don't develop for Steam. It's fine. You're gonna be much better off because you're gonna have less to worry about. Less screen sizes to optimize for, less marketplaces. Let's, let's be honest. You're cutting out a huge portion of gamers, right? You're cutting out a lot of potential revenue. You're cutting out a lot of potential for your game to spread through uh, word of mouth. If someone can't download your game and play it, they're not gonna play it and they're not gonna share it. They're not gonna talk about but it. But there are actually a few other reasons why Sprite Kit's not great for developers. From career or reputation point of view, if you're trying to build a career with game dev by creating projects and building a portfolio, developing in Sprite Kit is almost pointless because any game studio that you develop for is probably gonna be using Unity or Unreal Engine or uh, some of the other bigger platforms out there. If all of your all of your portfolio is built using Sprite Kit, it doesn't really matter how good your games are, you're not really building games using what they know. Fundamentally, players don't really care what framework you build with, but if you're trying to build respect for yourself as a game developer in the game dev community, the, the game dev community develops with these platforms, it's just the way it is. Additionally to that, there does seem to also be a bit of stagnation in Sprite Kit's development from Apple. Now, don't get me wrong, Apple does still support it. It just recently got added to Swift UI, which is amazing to see that you can build a Swift UI project and essentially create a Sprite Kit environment right into that application, which is great for making like little mini games inside of an app, but it is lagging behind some of these other frameworks. Not being cross-platform means that not a lot of developers really are adopting Sprite Kit, which just doesn't incentivize Apple to develop that framework much further. Uh, fundamentally, Sprite Kit's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Like I said last week, it's great for some developers. But if you're really trying to make money, if you're really trying to target the biggest audience possible, and if you want the most features in your engine and in your development platform, Sprite Kit's not gonna be the one to fill those needs. So where do I sit on these two videos, right? I back to back, two weeks in a row, I talked about Sprite Kit, once negatively, once positively. Where do I sit on this? Here's the thing. I chose to develop Zeroed with Sprite Kit because it simplified my workflow. That was the biggest driving factor behind it. I wanted to have something that would let me release the game as quickly as possible because my goal with Zeroed was to create a game from start to finish. I sat and I contemplated, do I go back to Unity and try and create a game? Do I go forward with Sprite Kit and know that because it's built right into Xcode, I will have a seamless transition from the first line of code all the way to the end. I chose Sprite Kit for that reason. Today, knowing what I know, I would still do the same thing, but that doesn't mean that in the future I won't change my mind. I am a hobby developer first and foremost. I'm choosing to do Sprite Kit just because it's easier, simple, and very streamlined. I hope that makes sense. If it does, leave a like below. And if you enjoy this video and the other ones that I've put out so far, please consider subscribing. Here's another video for you to watch. I'll see you next week. Bye for now. I've been thinking of doing a, a game dev failures uh, video for a while. So let me know if you'd like to see that in the comments below.